good morning is not a greeting but a prayer because the goodness and mercies of God are new every morning the blessings and mercies of God are fresh every morning so every morning is a fresh dose of God good morning is a disconnection from sickness and a connection to good health good morning is a disconnection from the, from oppression and a connection to freedom good morning is a disconnection from setback and a connection to breakthrough good morning is a disconnection from trouble and a connection to solution people of god i say good morning to your life in the name of jesus good morning to your health in the name of jesus good morning to your destiny in the name of jesus good morning to your finances future and everything that has to do with you good morning in the mighty name of jesus christ light of hope tv bringing hope the anchor of our soul.
हेलो हेलो सही है मीना सही है मीना हेलो ओके Yes, we give God just continue to praise Him, Heavenly Father. We thank you on behalf of this man, this woman, this boy, your girl, under the influence of this program. Father, we say your name be highly exalted. We give you all the glory. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for your love upon their lives individually and collectively. Merciful God, we say your name be highly exalted in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your presence in their hearts. We thank you for your mercy in their life. We thank you for your protection and your provision. We thank you for fighting their battles and giving them victory. We thank you for your attention and your intervention all the way long in their lives. Father, we give you all the glory. We thank you for security of their lives. We thank you for faith. We thank you for health, good health and sound mind. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes, viewers all over the world, wherever you are, let your heart continually be engaged with God. Let your heart be continually be engaged with God in thanks, in praise, in appreciation. Just continue to give Him all the glory. Continue, continue to give Him all the honor. Praise and magnify His holy name. Thank Him for His many wonders, His goodness, His love. Just let your heart continually be engaged with Him in thanksgiving, in praise. And as you do so, you will continue to experience His mercy and His glory upon your life. As you do so, you continue to experience His love. You continue to experience God's hand working in your affairs as you continue to appreciate Him, in, as you continue to engage your heart in thanks and praise to His holy name. God bless you in a special way. Amen. 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 Yes, viewers all over the world. Now let's come and reconcile ourselves back to him. Yes, Jesus said, come to me. Yes, if you those who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Yes, the burden, the burden of sin, the burden of guilt, the burden of condemnation, the burden of hatred, the burden of sin and affliction in our lives. Let us come to Jesus and cast our cares upon him. Yes, he said, cast your burdens upon Jesus, for he cares. So right now, open your heart, open your lips. Come to Jesus in humility and simplicity. Come to Jesus with humility and brokenheartedness and begin to acknowledge your position as sinner in need of his mercy. Because the Bible says perfection eludes all of us. We wake up in the morning determined to get it right, but before we know it, we have sinned. We have done things that is contrary to his, contrary to his will and his instructions. So wherever you are, you are all over the world. In humility, begin to acknowledge your position. In simplicity, acknowledge your position. In brokenheartedness, acknowledge your sin before him and plead for his mercy. Acknowledge your position, confess to him and plead for his mercy. He is faithful and just to forgive you. He is faithful and just to forgive you. He is faithful and just to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So at this point in time, open your heart and open your lips. Let your heart be be open to Jesus. Let your lips be open to him. Confess all your sins. Do not hold back. Do not hold back. Do not hold back. The psalmist said, I will confess my sins before thee and will not cover up my iniquity. Open your heart and open your lips. Begin to confess all your sins and iniquity before him. Begin to confess all your sins and unrighteousness before him and plead for his mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Merciful God, I come before your presence this morning on behalf of this man, this woman, this boy, your girl, under the influence of this program. I ask for your mercy upon their lives in the name of Jesus. As they come before thee with humility and brokenheartedness, pleading for your mercy and your forgiveness, confessing our many sins before thee, merciful God, we confess our sins. Our many sins of stealing, killing, destruction, our sins of envy, jealousy, our sins of lust, our sins of masturbation, evil thought, negative thought, backbiting, greed, our sins of selfishness, our sins of lust, our sins of of idolatry, our sins of negative thoughts and evil thoughts, our sins of negative words and evil words, our sins of backbiting, our sins of greed, covetousness, our sins of, uh, of, of, of malice, envy, grudge, greed. Our sins of malice, our sins of envy, we confess. 
confess to you all our many sins, host of heavens and one another. Forgive all our sins in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy, Lord Jesus, speak for us individually and collectively. This man, this woman, this boy, your girl, under the influence of this program, merciful God, let your mercy speak in the name of Jesus. Your pardoning mercy, let it speak for them. For your glory, let your pardoning mercy speak for them in the name of Jesus. Let your pardoning mercy speak for them in the name of Jesus. Let your pardoning mercy speak for them. For your glory in Jesus Christ's name. For your glory in Jesus Christ's name. For your glory in Jesus Christ's name. Lord Jesus, let your mercy speak. Let your glory shine. Let your light shine in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, reconcile them back to yourself in the name of Jesus. Reconcile their relationship back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whichever way their sin has separated them from you, whichever way their sin has separated them and broken that relationship between them and you, Father, by your mercy, begin to restore that relationship in the name of Jesus, by your mercy, begin to restore restore that broken relationship by your mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be restored. Let them be restored. Let them be restored. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you Lord Jesus for your mercy and your forgiveness upon their soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, all over the world. I say congratulations to you again and again and again and again. Now, yes, you are a child of God. Now that you are forgiven, now you can pray without any sense of a worthiness. Now you can stand with, before Jesus Christ with a right standing. Now you have a right standing before Jesus because your relationship with Jesus has been restored. Because that broken relationship has been fixed, has been restored because you have been reconciled back to your maker. Hallelujah. Now you can pray. Now you can come to Jesus and ask. Now you can come to him with your petition, with your request, and you're sure that your request will attract his attention and his commitment. Hallelujah. Congratulations, people of God. I say you are a child of God. I say a big congratulations to you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Hallelujah. Yes, we are all over the world. We give God glory for his mercy and his forgiveness upon our lives. Now, this moment, we want to bring our request before him. But we ensure that going, we must examine all things in the light of his word, even our prayer, ensuring that our prayer aligns with God's word and intentions for our life. Because when we pray, we don't expect to command God and bring God to our mind. No, prayer is aligning ourselves with God's will. Because what you are asking for has already been done. What you are praying for has already been paid for. All you need to do is align yourself to receive the benefit of Calvary. Hallelujah. That is what we do in prayer. So viewers all over the world, we must ensure our prayers align with God's word and intentions for our life. So grab your Bibles, the book of books, the greatest book on earth, the only book that reads you even as you read it. Yes, while we are going through the Bible, we want to hear God talk. Because when you pray, you talk to God. And when you read your Bible, you hear God talk. That is, God speaks to us through his word by his spirit. So, be us all over the world. You are with your Bible? Yes, you are with your Bible. Okay, now turn with me to the book of... Turn with me the book of Romans. Romans chapter, the book of Romans is immediately after the book of Acts. Hallelujah. The book of Romans is immediately after the book of Acts. And we'll be looking at Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. And I'll start my reading from verse 28 through to 30. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 from verse 28 to 30. Hallelujah. I read. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Verse 29, for those whom God foreknew, he also predestined to be, to be conformed to his likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Verse 30. 
and those he predestined he also called and those he got those he predestined he also called and those he called he also justified and those he justified he also glorified hallelujah glory be to jesus i'll take that again from verse 28 he said and we know that in all things god works for the good for those who love him who have been called according to his purpose for those whom god foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and those he predestined he also called those he called he also justified and those he justified he also glorifies hallelujah what are we talking about we are talking about all things works together for good for those that love the lord hallelujah that is god makes his people's trouble work for the advancement god makes his people set back work for their breakthrough god makes his people's sickness work for their perfect healing god makes his people's disappointment work for for set up for breakthrough god makes his people bondage work for their freedom yes whatever situation that you are experiencing god uses foolish things to bring out his purpose god uses foolish things to bring out his goodness god uses foolish things to bring out his will and his purpose in our lives i don't know what the situation that you are in i don't know the trouble that you are in the bible says it makes god everything not something everything you encounter works together for your good hallelujah everything what was that situation that you are encountering what is that problem you are encountering you are complaining of oppression you are complaining of poverty you are complaining of sickness you are complaining of affliction you are complaining of disease you are complaining of disability you are complaining of all form of unpleasant situation hear me hear the voice of god that situation God is using to bring out his purpose in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. That unpleasant situation that you are complaining about, God is using to bring out his glory in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. He said in that word, those, everything works together for good for those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose hallelujah being called according to his purpose is talking about god's children he's talking about people of god he's talking about those that he predestined yes you are a child of god you are a child of god that it is makes his children's trouble what they are experiencing to work together for their good at the beginning it might seem like trouble but god uses that trouble to bring down to bring peace at the beginning it might seem like setback but god used that setback to bring out his glory at the beginning it might look like disappointment but god used that disappointment to bring out set up for breakthrough at the beginning it might look like poverty but god brings out abundance out of that poverty at the beginning it might look like oppression but when you see god's purpose you see preservation you see endurance you see preservation of your soul you see preservation of your spirit you see preservation it keeps you up it keeps you for redemption hallelujah he said for those who god foreknew he predestined to be conformed to his likeness of his son that is whatever you are experiencing god use it to preserve your soul god use it to bring for his glory for your for his for his glory for your advancement for his glory for your advancement yes my mentor president shall say when God is executing his plans in our lives, he also designs and arranges events which continue to unfold until his purpose is revealed. Hallelujah. Whatever situation that you are experiencing, that situation at the beginning might seem like failure, might seem like disappointment, might seem like uh, setback, might seem like sickness, might seem like oppression. But God uses his people. God makes his people trouble work for the advancement. That is part of the plan. When he executes his plan, you pass through the end of the day, you will see God's glory. You will see his plan. You will see his perfect plan in that world you are following hallelujah he is the master planner hallelujah he is the master designer he is the one that orchestrates all the events and make his people trouble work for the advancement i don't know the trouble you are experiencing i don't know the sickness that you are experiencing i don't know the disappointment you are you are facing but hear me hear the voice of god god's hand will bring breakthrough out of that you're sent back in the name of jesus christ god's hands will bring perfect healing out of that your sickness in the 
name of Jesus Christ, God's hand bring perfect restoration into your life by that your situation. In the name of Jesus Christ, God's hand bring perfect healing, deliverance upon your soul by that your situation. In the name of Jesus Christ, He bring restoration and preservation to your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, He bring preservation to your soul for eternity. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus, I commit them into your hand. Let your trouble, let their complaint, let their sickness, let their situation begin to work for their advancement in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to work for their advancement, for your glory, for their peace, for your glory, for their rest, for your glory, for their enjoyment, for your glory, for their, for their fulfillment in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to experience, begin to fulfill your promises in their life by their situation. By their situation, fulfill your promise, your promise of restoration, your promise of redemption, your promise of breakthrough your promise of joy, your promise of rest, your promise of fulfillment in their life by their situation. Begin to fulfill your promises in their lives, in their career, in their destiny, in their soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It says in the word, it says for those whom God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. When he called you, he also justified you. When he justified you, he also bring glory into your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to experience the glory of God. The hands of God is working out things for your glory. Him. The hands of God is working out things for your favor. The hands of God is working out things for your mercy. The hands of God is working things out in the name of Jesus Christ. Working things out in the name of Jesus Christ. His light is mercy. His glory is mercy. Shine upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. His glory is mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. His glory is mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. His glory is mercy in the name of Jesus Christ upon your soul. That situation in the name of Jesus Jesus is bringing glory. That situation is bringing glory. Your situation, your story will end in praise. Your testimony will end in praise. Your situation will bring the testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is no test, that your test is bringing about your testimony. That your trial is bringing about your testimony. That your difficulty is bringing about your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. All your situation is working together for your mighty testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to receive the hands of God working things out for your soul. The hands of God working things out for your spirit. The hands of God working things out for your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, making a way for you where there seems to be the way. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 Yes, viewers all over the world. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. By the power of Jesus, I touch you. I touch you. The hands of Jesus touching you. Distance is not a barrier. Wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, I touch your soul. I touch your spirit. I touch your body. Restoration and redemption. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, restoration of your health, redemption of your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, restoration of your health is restoring your body from all sickness, disease, affliction. In the name of Jesus Christ, redemption of your spirit is removing every hands of darkness in the phase of your life in the name of Jesus Christ begin to touch your screen right now for restoration begin to touch your screen right now for redemption by the blood of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost touch your screen right now for restoration and redemption in the name of Jesus by the blood and fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ by the blood of Jesus Christ and the fire of the Holy Ghost touch your screen right now catch the fire of redemption Catch the fire for restoration in your spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free out, you darkness, out, you affliction, out, you sickness, in the name of Jesus Christ. Release them and set them free in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes, viewers all over the world. I 
bless your day. You're going out, you're coming in, your way, your day, your time, and everything that has to do with you. I secure your life by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. I secure your going out, your coming in, your way, your days, your time, and all that has to do with you. Your encounters, your meeting, your appointment today shall be an encounter of favor, mercy, and blessing and grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Your meetings today shall end in testimony. Your appointment, your encounter today shall be an encounter of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless your day. I bless your day. I bless your day in Jesus Christ's name. I pray. Amen. 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 Yes, God bless you in a special way. Yes, all over the world. I say a big congratulations to you. Yes, yes, yes. We want to hear your testimony. Your testimony, your observation, your feedback, your question, and your experiences. So come in the comment section. Let us hear what the Lord has done, what he's doing, how he has changed you, healed you, redeemed you, delivered you, justifies you, and predestined. Just let us just hear the goodness of God in your life. So let's get in the comment section your testimony, your question, your feedback, your observation, and your experiences. So we, the community of friends of Jesus, can celebrate with you in a special way. God bless you. Thank you very much for your time. See you again tomorrow. But before I go, I say good morning to your life and all that has to do with you. In Jesus Christ's name I pray.